Welcome everyone. I'm Laura DeFranco, the CEO of Brave Healer Productions, where we have a mission to wake the world up to what's possible. And here today to help me with that mission is one of the most amazing author experts of a new book that we have coming out. This one is called Mindset Mastery, Awareness, Meditation, Mindfulness, and Manifestation for the Spiritual Warrior. Welcome, Christy Robinson. Hello. Thank you, Laura. I'm thrilled to be here. I'm excited to have this conversation with you. You guys, we put this book together and it's a, it's a collaboration of real stories and master teachings. Our authors are sharing their lives and the tools they've used to thrive with you. And today's author and guest is Christy Robinson. She's a medical psychologist and feng shui master who teaches women to empower themselves to live flourishing lives. So Christy, first of all, thank you so much for being willing to share your story and your teachings in this book. These practices, awareness practices like yours, you guys, they're going to change your life. Like I get excited about these conversations because I know what's inside these amazing books. So would you first just share a little bit about your chapter with everyone? Yes. So my chapter is about manifesting and working with the lunar cycles to pretty much change any area of your life that you want to. Oh my and gosh. Okay. You got it. <laughs> we got to get into that in a little, a little bit deeper way for sure. So I loved that you were writing about manifesting and then I was like, oh my gosh, she's going to talk about the moon. So give us a little bit more. <laughs> Yeah. So as you know, feng shui is all about nature and connecting to nature um, and working with the lunar cycles is a way to set your intentions each month and also release anything that might be blocking you from manifesting those intentions. And it keeps you accountable because we have a new moon and a full moon every month that you can work with. So this it's not like I can't do this work all the other days of the month, but what happens on those special days? Just give me an idea why I might want to pay attention to the calendar. Yeah. So the new moon is super cool every month. It's basically a new beginning and the moon is halfway between the sun and the earth. We don't see the new moon because the shadow side is facing the earth which is kind of interesting because it parallels how we manifest, right? We put our intentions out into the universe and they're out there coming to fruition energetically before we see them in our lives. So they're hidden, but we know they're there. And the new moon is the same way. We don't physically see it, but it's there. So that's why it's a great time to really think about what you want to call into your life and bring into to reality in your life. Um, I like that explanation. That makes sense. And um, you gave me a moment there of, well, okay, we aren't seeing it, but we know it's there and it's still important. <laughs> like Absolutely. the intentions, right? You know, we may not see that, but we're setting up an energetic that can either serve us or not serve us, even though we might not be able to see things already manifested. Exactly. And that's why I love it because it, it teaches us how to manifest essentially. And the other thing that you can do if you want to dive a little deeper and you're into astrology is look at the actual sign that the, the new moon is going to be in and the qualities of that sign. And if that's something you're trying to work with specifically in your life, then that's a really great time to charge your crystals under the moonlight or do moon water to take a bath. And then you continue to work with that energy for as long as you need it. Okay, so you talked about the new moon. What about the full moon? That's a release moon? Exactly. If I, if I yeah. have my basics right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So it's kind of the opposite. Um, it is behind the earth and the sun is illuminating the side of the moon that we see. So what the full moon does is it brings to the surface kind of the hidden things that you might need to release that aren't serving you any longer. It illuminates what's blocking you from manifesting what you want. So the new moon and the full moon really work in tandem together so that you can call in what you want and release what isn't serving you to manifest anything you want. I love these topics so much. I also love tools that I may not have really thought about before. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, you know, it's funny. I was 
just this morning, there was a kind of a half moon out, maybe a little bit fuller than half. And it was dark still, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't morning yet. It was still dark, but it was the morning. And I was just staring up at it and how it was making its glow kind of on the clouds. And I thought, all right, there's, you know, there's something to this magic, but you're helping us with these practical tools about it. And listen, I am such a mindset geek. It's like this mindset mastery book was like, yes, let's talk about like all the ways and all the tools. This awareness is everything to me. Um, and so awareness of the moon and all of these things, right. You just don't know what's possible until you learn these new things. But I think that we can talk about this in terms of it, making a difference, this awareness between Mm -hmm a um, meh kind of life and an amazing life. What do you think being a master of mindset means? How has that played out in your own journey? Yeah, you know, I think it's really elevating your self-awareness and being able to go inward and reflect and then take that and like transform it into something amazing that you want to bring into your life. Um, When you have the awareness, then you can kind of put those tools to practice consistently and you start to see big changes in your life. This is kind of how I got into feng shui. You know, I was in grad school to be a psychologist and I started, I was just curious about the moon and I loved crystals and I started putting, you know, following the moon cycles and putting my crystals out And it makes you bring to your awareness what you really want. And then you're aligned and you're focused and it worked magic for me. So I kind of got into feng shui after that. (laughs) I'm a a little bit obsessed on the topic right now as well. Just talking about cleaning to somebody and how um, it just, the space feels so much better. And I know that's a big part of that. Um, So you said the consistency and I agree with you. I think the consistent practice is part of the mastery and Mm -hmm. that, you know, people bring practice, they create a discipline out of their practice. And I think that's where things start to be mastered. Um, what, what are the, what does the practice look like for you? Like, are there certain things that you do every single day, every single month? Yes. Um, I think working with the lunar cycles every month and setting your intentions and then really being willing to get quiet and listen when that full moon time comes and you know, you have to release something, be willing to go in and not distract yourself and look at what that is and then be able to release it. I like working with crystals because crystals hold energy. So they can absorb that energy that you're wanting to harness more. And then you can go back, you can meditate with them. You know, you can do the moon water baths and work with something tangible throughout the month and keep yourself on track. The other piece I think that's really important to this practice that's really overlooked is practicing self-compassion. You know, we so often, especially women, think that we don't deserve the same self-compassion that we give everyone else in our life. And to be able to truly ma- like manifest what you want and have that positive mindset that you need, you have to be willing to take time to take care of yourself. So working those self-compassion practices into your daily routine is also critically important for manifesting. Agreed wholeheartedly on that one. Um, do you have any favorite crystals? Like crystals is its own subject we could talk about for three hours. Seriously, you guys. But I do. oh, look at she's got show and tell. What was that one? That's carnelian. That's okay. one of my most favorite crystals. Why? Um, it's amazing. It's really good for work. I like to keep it on my desk when I'm doing work. It sparks like creative energy, creative thought. It opens you to new things and new beginnings. And I, I'm all about growth. I'm always growing. <laughs> so that really vibrates well with my, my frequency. But everybody is drawn to different crystals. And I'm drawn to different crystals at different times in my life, too, depending on what I'm needing right then and there. 
Did you pack that one in your suitcase? I, did. <laughs> I totally packed like a whole box of crystals. That's so awesome. <laughs> All right. Um, so I know you have a ton going on aside from writing in this book. Um, how do you, how do people work with you? Tell us about your work and your offerings and all of that good stuff. Yes. So um, I do a lot on my social media for folks and I'm getting ready to launch my courses. One of which is going to be moon manifesting and it's going to walk you through all of this in detail, how to work with it in your life. Um, I'm also offering consultations if you're interested in that as well. Awesome. Oh my gosh. I can't wait for the workshops um, and your book that will come soon. I know it will. I have a feeling your, your solo book. <laughs> Um, the world yes. is waiting for that. Um, so you guys, one of the biggest missions that I have with every Brave Healer Productions book is to help our readers live extraordinary lives. I, I know that you hear that Christy um, wants that for you too. So no matter where you are on your journey, these books are going to help you answer that question. Like what else is possible here? You know, so Christy, what's one simple stepping stone that you'd like to share with the listeners today that'll help them on this journey? Like, what's that one thing you want them to know? Yeah, I think my favorite thing to do is work with gratitude because gratitude is so important. What we put out to the universe, we amplify and we get that back. And no matter where you are in life, I've been a lot of different places in life and you can always find something to be grateful for. So I like to do a gratitude list and it, it's really fun. It's good for you and it's good for the other person. You just pick someone in your life and make a written list of 10 things that you're grateful for about them and then share it with them. And it kind of makes their day. They feel appreciated and you feel like you're, you're showing love to the people in your life. And my favorite part though, is a little bit harder. I like to have people do a self gratitude list after that. 10 things you love about yourself. And that is like where the magic is. That's another level of badass gratitude. Yes. <laughs> Self gratitude. That is awesome. I once heard or read that gratitude cannot exist with fear at the same time. So if you're anxious or fearful, if you move toward gratitude, it's going to help because they can't both be there at once. Have you, do you know about that? You're nodding your head. So I'm assuming you're, <laughs> you're on board with that. Yes. I, I love that. And, and that's very true. In fact, a lot of what we have to release when we're going through that, that full moon cycle is fear. Fear is, you know, there are universal fears that we all have um, and they block us from achieving what we want. So being able to release those fears and practice gratitude for what we have and what we know will come is like life-changing. Yes. And definitely part of the mastery of your mindset, you guys, Christy, thank you so much for what you do in the world and for being here today to share it with everyone. Thank you, Laura. It was a pleasure. So you guys, Mindset Mastery is coming out in January, but until then, if something you heard Christy say today made you curious or you have a question or you need some support, scroll on down to the show notes. You're going to be able to connect with her on her website there. And she's very generously there for you to take those next steps and help you support you on that journey. So go check out all of the amazing things that she is up to. And you're also invited to continue the conversation in the Brave Healer Book Club on Facebook. So that link is below as well. Our authors and readers are hanging out and you can ask questions about any of the chapters in any of our books that you read. And we're going to have a book launch party for this one. It's on January 22nd. So I hope you'll join us for the book launch party. I'm going to be there with all the co-authors of Mindset Mastery who will be sharing their wisdom and inspiration with you. And if you're listening anytime around those dates I've been throwing out, then you should hop over to Amazon because that means the book will be ready by then. So lastly today, remember your words change the world when you're brave enough to share them. So it is time to be brave. See you next time, everyone. Thank you, Christy. Thank you. Bye.